going to begin balancing our second equation now. So just like we did in the first one, first step is going to be counting the number of atoms. So I have two carbon atoms on my reactant side. I have six hydrogen atoms and I have two oxygen atoms. On my product side, I have one carbon atom because there's no subscript here. So this is just a carbon of one. I have two hydrogens. Here are my hydrogens. And I have three oxygens. And this one's a little tricky because I have one oxygen here and I have two oxygens over here. So I have to remember to add these up anytime I'm going to make changes. Starting at the very top of my list here. So I'm going to check my carbons. I'm going to see that two and one are not balanced. So I need to change this number in order to bring it up to a two. So that's like saying one times blank equals two. I know that if I multiply this by two, it's going to change this number as well to a two. It's also going to affect the oxygens because carbon is not the only thing in this molecule. So now I have two times two, which is four oxygens, plus the one over here. That's going to give me five. Next, I'm going to check my hydrogens. So I'm going to see that I have six hydrogens on the reactant side, two hydrogens on the product side. So I'm going to say two times blank equals six. That's going to tell me that I need to change this coefficient to three. Let's color code that so that's a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to change this to three. That's going to change this number to six. Now I have six hydrogens here and I have three hyd or three oxygens right here. Here's my oxygen. Okay. I'm going to add that to my oxygens over here. So three plus four. So this no number is no longer five, but now we have seven total oxygens. Normally, when we get to this point in our equation that we have gone through all of our elements, we have a balanced equation. Some of our questions, however, are going to be a little bit trickier. For example, in this card, we have two carbons, six hydrogens, and two and, two and seven oxygens. So we're not balanced yet. So what we can do when we're given this type of situation is we're just going to start playing with our numbers. So what I'm going to do to try and balance this is instead of having two and two, I'm going to try doubling everything and seeing where that gets me. So I'm going to go back up to my carbons. I'm going to change this from two. Instead, we're going to make it four. Oops, that's five. I want to make it four. This is going to give me four carbons on this side. It's going to give me four times two is eight plus one, two, three for this coefficient out front here. So we're gonna have 11 oxygens. And then I'm gonna come over and I need to bring this number as well up to four. So I'm gonna say instead of two carbons on this side, we're gonna say two times two is four. We wanna have four carbons on this side now. So now our carbons are balanced. We have four and we have four. We also changed the amount of hydrogens we have here. So instead of six, we have 12 because two times six is going to be 12. Now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna balance my hydrogens again. So I have 12 on the reactant side, six on the product side. This number no longer works as a three. So once again, we're gonna double it because we doubled the carbon, which means we have to double this coefficient here. So we're going to change our number to six. By changing this to six, it will rebalance out our hydrogens. So now I have six times two is 12. And I have six oxygens here plus eight oxygens here. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 oxygens total now because six plus eight is going to be 14. This is now something I can balance. Two and seven, I couldn't multiply into each other, but two does go into 14. So we're gonna make this new number, we're gonna say times seven. Two times seven is going to be 14. 
I have four carbons across the board. I have 12 hydrogens and 14 oxygens on both sides. So when in doubt, if you go through the process and it's not working, you're just going to try doubling your numbers, seeing if that gets you anywhere. Uh, the big thing with chemical equations is just playing with it until you get your numbers to match all the way across.